Hi, and welcome to WatchMojo.com. I'm your host, Layla. Airplanes rely on portable fuels, and the authors of Transport Revolutions, Moving People and Freight Without Oil, Anthony Pearl and Richard Gilbert, explain how the future of travel could look with the decline of aviation. Can you please tell us how do the insights into the nature and dynamics of profound change in transportation assist us going forward? Well, there's probably going to be more change in transportation in the coming 10 years than there's been in the last 40 years. Let me just give you one very small example. Crossing the Atlantic in the 50s, at the beginning of the 50s, almost everybody crossed by boat. At the end of the 50s, almost everybody was crossing by air. Now you say, well, that's what happened, but that's a, that was a really big change, and we see changes of that kind happening ahead. What kind of threats are we facing in aviation? It's uh, just going to be a lot more expensive to uh, fly from place to place uh, and places where there's alternatives to flying or could be alternatives to flying is where we're going to need to develop trains or uh, lighter than air ships or other substitutes uh, so that there's uh, still fuel and uh, capacity available for the places where long distance flights are still essential. We'll see a dramatic reduction in the number of airports. We'll see planes getting much larger because they are fuel efficient when they're large, as long as they're fully occupied. We'll see short distances no longer travel by plane. Also long distances, very long distances, if you can avoid them, they won't be traveled by plane either because it's the short distances and the long distances that use all the fuel. This means that coastal cities are going to be the places where a significant aviation still happens because that's where the end of the, the land-based connections will be. We uh, found a phrase in uh, our research, which we didn't originate, but uh, the term travel port. We're going to need to see airport infrastructure transformed into travel ports, so these are about connecting people from surface to air when necessary, as opposed to connecting people from short haul air to long haul air. That model of hub and spoke air travel is going to be one of the big change items in this transport revolution. Another thing that's going to happen while we're talking about moving over long distances is going to be a reversal of what I started talking about, which was the decline in travel by sea. People don't like traveling by sea in part because it takes so long, but with modern communications, you can have a very productive time when you're doing a six-day journey across the Atlantic. In fact, with full web and, and email and everything, it may be exactly what you need to produce those last three reports that you've been trying to write. We'll see more sea travel because it's more energy efficient. Boats can be moved by wind. The front of our book shows not a passenger boat, but a, another kind of boat being pulled along by a towing kite. And that can reduce fuel use on a boat, which is already low, can reduce fuel use by 30 to 50%.